Easy guys, Dom here from Cringy Dad Gaming. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can remove your source collar in the game Divinity Original Sin 2. It can seem quite a long time before you can remove this collar. And I have to admit that this video will contain some spoilers. I'm only really making this video for people who are pushed for time. They want to remove their source collar as quickly as possible. It is going to be done within the first area that you do actually start in, which is Fort Joy. Now, you will start over on Fort Joy Beach pretty much and work your way through. You've got to get yourself all the way over to this part here, and there is actually a hideout of uh, people who are actually trying to escape from uh, the Magisters, and you'll know when you're in the right sort of area because you'll come across all these uh, void woken um, and carnage as you can see here uh, they just keep coming and coming and coming and you'll eventually get surrounded by all these but what you want to look for is you want to look for this area down here which is a load of fire followed by a load of uh, poisonous gas uh, I'll just show you on the map here the direction that you're in so you are kind of looking for this little kind of ruin area here with the the red to it and then down here you notice there's a bit of the map that comes up and to the hideout you can make it through the uh, the fire and the poison if you have magic armor, or you can just use fire to burn the poison away um, before it comes back. But you notice there is a bell here. Uh, you will actually need to ring the bell in order then to speak to one of the guards uh, of this uh, hidden area, which is called Bahara. She will, as long as you choose the right dialogue choices, throw the vines down for you to climb up. This is then leading you to the sanctuary of Amadia. Um, there's lots of great things to kind of explore in this area and lots of people to speak to. But if you work your way around here to where this pool of water is and uh, the face crying uh, water. Definitely uh, just double check this body that's here. Um, that's got some really good loot on it. But here you will find a guy called Duggan and then Leia. Now Leia is the lady who will remove your collars, um, but you may find that one of your characters will have a, a good set of dialogue choices for Duggan. Um, so if you are able to play as Beast, if you've come across Beast, which is the Scottish Dwarf character with the eye patch, then you'll find that he's going to give you some better dialogue options and you'll collars will actually be removed automatically you don't have to go through any dialogue choices and you you will find that uh, your collars are then uh, removed i was waiting to try and get some dialogue choices to ask her to remove them but i did actually notice they were on the floor and they'd already been removed so hopefully this video will help you guys remove your collars nice and early within the game if you work your way here if that has helped you don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys on another video thanks for watching